General Hospital's Steve Burton shares romantic NYC trip moments. Video tribute to real-life love, Ned's PI affair proof, Finn's rehab release and Sam's donor match surprise, Sam's secret from Dante, Lulu stabilized, Brennan's diamond search, greetings to all General Hospital fans. Don't forget to subscribe for the latest updates. General Hospital spoilers reveal that Jason Morgan is currently single, but his portrayer is quite happily taken. Back in May, Steve Burton went public about his romance with Michelle Lundstrom, who's best known for showing off her culinary talents on Netflix's BBQ showdown. Thanks to Burton's recent Instagram post, we know his relationship is still going strong. Burton shared a little video tribute to both New York City and his real-life love, so let's talk about the sweet gesture. In an Instagram reel titled, Unforgettable NYC Moments, Burton posted some pics and clips of his New York adventures. It looks like Burton and Lundstrom have really strengthened their connection by exploring the city together. Although Burton's career has often allowed him to visit New York briefly here and there, he admitted it was always an elusive city for him. That changed once Lundstrom came along and helped him see NYC with fresh eyes. I never really got to experience it until the Thimini Michel, Burton said before adding a heart emoji and insisting it was the best. Burton also described some of the things he loved most about New York, including Central Park, Broadway, the food, and more. It's clear that New York City has become a destination that Burton is pretty passionate about. Burton even encouraged people to put New York on their bucket lists if they haven't visited already. There's no shortage of things to do there, as evidenced by Burton's Instagram reel, which included Frank Sinatra's theme from New York, New York. Burton looks happy and in love, based on the romantic NYC moments he shared, so it's great to see he's doing so well. Although Steve Burton's romantic life has brought some difficult headlines in recent years, he seems tickled pink to have Michelle Lundstrom by his side now. As for what's next in Port Charles, Jason has much more general hospital drama ahead of him, especially since he'll have to be there for Danny Morgan after Sam McCall's grim fate. General hospital spoilers say some tough times are looming for Jason, Danny, and everyone else tied to Sam, so we'll pass along more story predictions and updates on all the awful news to come. General hospital spoilers recap for Tuesday, October 15 reveals that Ned Quartermain walked in on Drew Quartermain's awkward moment with Willow Corinthos before Willow took off. Michael Corinthos eventually showed up to talk ELQ business with Ned and Drew, but conflict erupted over how to divide Valentin Cassidine's shares and who'd control Drew's stocks once he was elected. After Ned left in a huff, he tried to vent to Olivia Quartermain, before realizing she already had too much on her plate. Later, Ned wound up recruiting Elaine for some private investigative work, since he needed proof that Drew was having an affair with Willow. Back with Drew and Michael, they schemed behind Ned's back on how to make sure Michael ran ELQ after the election. Over with Tracy Quartermain, Brooklyn Quartermain caught her on the phone with an attorney. Tracy wanted to sue Garth's parents over the whole situation with Violet Finn. Brooklyn pumped the brakes on that and lashed out, but Olivia privately suggested to Brooklyn that Tracy was just feeling helpless over Lulu Spencer's ordeal. Afterward, Tracy indeed admitted to Olivia that she felt powerless, which is why she'd been going overboard with Violet back with Brooklyn she sought some advice from Willow about how to work with Violet's school and help her cope. Brooklyn acknowledged that she was only a temporary guardian and wondered if she had what it took to be a real parent. Willow offered encouragement before Harrison Chase texted with news about Hamilton Finn getting out of rehab. Although Willow said Violet would be thrilled over the reunion with her daddy, Brooklyn clearly looked upset at the thought of giving Violet back to Finn. In the Quartermain kitchen, Cody Bell gave Sasha Gilmore updates on Serenity, the place where he grew up, being on the market for $6 million. Although Cody wanted to turn it into a ranch and animal sanctuary, he felt he'd never be able to afford that. 
Cody admitted the thought crossed his mind to ask Tracy to loan him the down payment money, so Sasha encouraged him. It seemed like Cody was going to ask Tracy, but he chickened out and told Sasha why later. Since Cody considered Tracy a real friend, he didn't want to ask her for money now and make her think that was all he was ever interested in. When Sasha pushed Cody to find a different investor, it seemed like Cody was already throwing in the towel on the idea, which saddened Sasha. At General Hospital, Martin Gray took a stroll with Laura Collins and offered his support over Lulu. When Laura and Martin returned to Lulu's room, they were alarmed to find Cyrus Renault sitting by her bedside. Martin got Cyrus to speak with him outside and pushed his brother to back off since Laura was already dealing with enough. Cyrus defended himself and hinted about giving Laura a greater gift than Martin could know. Meanwhile, Elizabeth Baldwin caught up with Isaiah Gannon, who learned Lucky Spencer wasn't a viable liver donor after all and that he'd taken it awfully hard. However, Liz remained hopeful about Lulu since another match had been discovered. Once Elizabeth found out the match's identity on the computer, she was taken aback. After Liz filled Laura in on the positive match developments, Laura shared them with Kevin Collins, too. Laura was cautiously optimistic about saving Lulu, but she knew the donor match had to undergo follow-up tests and actually agree to the transplant first. At the batting cages, Dan Falconeri tried to hit some balls with Sam McCall, who brought some hot dogs to share as they talked. Dandy felt guilty for promising Rocco Falconeri another donor since he couldn't really make a firm prediction on that. Once Dandy reflected on almost warning Sonny Corintos about the new evidence to save him from prison, Sam understood his perspective. After Sam was summoned to Terry Randolph's office, she was blown away when she learned she was a donor match for Lulu. Dandy showed up to see Lulu in the meantime but her monitors went wild as she began crashing in her room. Isaiah came to Lulu's rescue before Liz joined him in trying to save her. General hospital spoilers say Lulu will pull through, but it's clear that she needs a transplant as fast as possible. General hospital spoilers Wednesday, October 16. Sam's secret from Dante. Lulu stabilized. Brennan's diamond search, general hospital spoilers for Wednesday, October 16 reveal that Sasha Gilmore Corbin will ask Michael Corinthos for a favor. So this probably involves investing in Cody Bell's future since he needs a hefty down payment to buy Serenity. Cody wants to turn the place he grew up into a ranch and an animal sanctuary, but he doesn't think he has a real chance since Serenity costs $6 million. Since Cody couldn't bring himself to ask Tracy Quartermain for the money, Sasha may ask Michael for a loan instead. However, Tracy will eventually face off with Sasha, so perhaps she'll object to Sasha encouraging dreams that could take Cody away from his job at the Quartermain stables. If anything ever happens again, you will be seeking employment elsewhere, Tracy warned Sasha in Wednesday's General Hospital preview video. Tracy will also get into an argument with Cody, but she'll eventually see this as something he desperately wants to do. Since we know Tracy will offer to help Cody in the end, it sounds like she'll give him the money for Serenity after all. Next, Max Scorpio will feel like there's unfinished business between Robert Scorpio and Holly Sutton. Maybe Mac will find out about Jen Sidwell's missing diamonds and assume this has Holly written all over it. Over with Holly, she'll have another chat with Felicia Scorpio and ask if she's sure he's not pulling one now. Holly will spill some concerns as Felicia presumably pushes her pursue a future with Robert. Jack Brennan will also grill Anna Devane and Jason Morgan on Wednesday's episode, so he'll ask if either of them brought back a souvenir from their travels. This no doubt ties in with the missing diamonds as well but it won't take Anna long to point the finger at Holly instead. At the hospital, Lulu Spencer's medical team will thankfully manage to get her stable, but her need for a liver transplant will become even more urgent. Sam McCall just found out she was a donor match, but she'll warn Terry Randolph that they can't tell Dante Falconeri. 
It seems Sam won't want to get Dante's hopes up until all the final testing is done, but Terry may think she should be honest and give Dante updates on her initial donor match news anyway. Elsewhere, Elizabeth Baldwin and Portia Robinson will learn something that baffles them, so we'll see what puzzle they end up pondering soon enough. Finally, Isaiah will take Jordan Ashford out on a dinner date, so let's hope their romance keeps moving in the right direction. General Hospital spoilers say Jordan and Isaiah will continue to explore their chemistry, so we'll bring you more predictions on what's ahead for this new pairing. Thanks for watching these videos. Please hit the subscribe button for more updated news.